After what seemed like an eternity, the offseason has officially come to a close as the Rebels begin their preparation for the season opener. With the quarterback position settled, attention is turned to a growing stable of running backs. All right, guys, you know it's game week, baby. Get excited about the job we got going on. Let's look at that personnel real quick. Just talking about the linebackers real fast. Look at the guys that come, got coming back. Seth, uh, Seth Allison, number 12, 5'11", 195. He'll be the Sam linebacker, especially when you're 20 personnel. We got four, either five Dolphin. He'll be the guy that you're working off of that you're checking, okay? Whenever there's a type of straight blitz from the outside, a missile blitz, he'll be the guy rushing from outside in. Number 49, Justin Hurd, 6'1", 215. And the wheel linebacker, Ro, uh, Rohan Jackson, 5'10", 202. Those are the guys you're going to be working with, okay? All right, here we go. Now, our two, um, our two ISO purple calls that we have. We'll go right, two ISO, why shoot. Kind of worked this last week as well. Here's the tight end here. Let's make sure we're on the same page here. Whenever we go to ISO, basically all that does is tell you you have them making a great fake. And now you're responsible for the mic to the sound. Okay? I'm inside out. Neither guy comes. I'm running my middle check down route. Okay? Always be ready for any type of straight blitz from the field. Alright? Any questions we have? Let's go walk through. All right, guys. Uh, real excited about it being game week. At um, any time you go through fall camp, like we, like we and uh, many others have at this level, you week one is usually very exciting, and and everyone's energetic. Week two and three are absolute grinds, and then uh, the start of uh, week four, game week, is always uh, you see a little bounce in their step, and a little change of attitude. And I saw that yesterday. Uh, even saw it Saturday night as we did our mock game. Uh, very excited to uh, to get into this game week and start uh, game prepping even more. And um, our staff's been at it hard this morning and uh, looking forward to hitting the practice field tomorrow with our kids. We're going to have uh, some kids be back out there with us that we, we really need. And Charles Sawyer and, and um, Wesley Pendleton, hopefully Cliff Coleman. So uh, we're excited to get those guys back and see if they're going to be able to to function, but uh, real excited about game. We can't wait for uh, Saturday um, to uh, see what our kids have. The season Ole Miss football is brought to you in part by FedEx, proud supporter of the Ole Miss Rebels. FedEx, solutions that matter. Regions Bank, proud sponsor of the SEC. One Mississippi, your health insurance marketplace. One Mississippi, count me in. C Spire, personalized wireless. Allstate, are you in good hands? The Mississippi Department of Transportation, make Mississippi proud. Pick it up, Mississippi. And by Kroger, visit the millionmillschallenge.com or text HUNGER to 66856 to help feed the hungry in our state. How am I supposed to sell you guys as the most dangerous band in the world when you're seen schlepping golf clubs through the airport? But we love golf. No. As far as your fans know, you are only capable of hate. I don't hate golf. From now on, I'm shipping your clubs with FedEx right to the golf course. Now learn how to trash a hotel room. Let me get some water for those flowers. Let FedEx office pack and ship your clubs, luggage, and more. FedEx, solutions that matter. A home improvement project takes patience, but getting the right loan for it doesn't have to. At Regents, you'll get an answer in about 30 minutes. So whether you're updating your kitchen, adding a bathroom, or putting in your own private oasis, nobody helps you borrow smarter than Regents. Home equity loans, personal loans, even auto loans, in case you want to fix up the garage. Hey, honey. No, 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 no. Ah. It's OK. It's cool. Fine with it. Little piece of me just died. Hi, I'm Mississippi Insurance Commissioner Mike Cheney. I believe that competition brings out the best in all of us, whether on the gridiron or in the marketplace. I also believe in a competitive free market solution for providing health insurance products to individuals and business owners in our state. That solution is One Mississippi, your health insurance marketplace. For more information, visit OneMississippi.com or contact your local insurance agent. One Mississippi, count me in.
in Central Arkansas this week. Finna make it happen. About to hey. go one and zero this week, baby. I'm uh, I need to go a six minute round with uh, Hurricane Island and turn my city to a seashore. Tired of it. The yeah. get the same thing. I'm tired of it, Gonna get real and him away on Saturday at 6 o'clock. Yeah. Oh, Eastside Jody here, man, all day, every day, getting ready, you know what I'm saying? It's a regular day. Work. <laughs> uh, going to this one, you know, I'm gonna be on the field this time. I ain't gonna be on the sideline, you know, just watching the game. And uh, that's a blessing for me. And um, you know, we just get ready as a whole team, everybody focused, get ready to play. What's your mindset? Win. That's it. We gotta win this. As the Rebels begin preparations for the University of Central Arkansas, everyone is in lockstep. Despite the struggles of last season, the renewed spirit of the Ole Miss football team is evident. All right, so. Ball's right here, you're going to be out there, right? Now look, the ball is on the 40, so you should, your aiming point should be right at those guys. That's the 10, right? That's 30 yards. 40 minus 10 equals 30. There you go. See, we, get, we learn about math out here, too. We're well-rounded as receivers. Let's go, run it. Get out. Come on. Push it. Stick it. Nice. Good job, six. Hey, get in there. Quit bouncing it all. Get in there. There's a hole in there. Get north and south. Hey, now I know you can run hard. I got to see it every play, you know? Get it, Pam! Get it, Pam! Turn it, turn it! There it is. That's five. That's five. Hey, that's it. Four yards every time, right? That's the way to run the ball. When you're a high tempo offense the way we are, running the football is a huge factor because we can get up, not only hand the ball off to the running back, uh, the quarterback can pull it, and we can also throw screens off of it. So the number one part of that option, obviously, the three-part option, is to hand the ball to a running back. And if they know that the running backs are not that great, uh, they don't have to worry so much about the running backs themselves. But uh, with, with these guys, we've had a bunch of big plays, and that is our first option is handing the ball off. So if we can get those guys running the way they are right now during the season, is going to put a lot of pressure on the defense. Mackey being moved there has helped us tremendously, and then the two freshmen coming on have, have really helped us. I knew the guys in the spring, Jeff Scott and you know DT and all those guys, Nick Parker, were going to do a great job for us. But those freshmen coming along and then Mackey being moved there has really put a, put a position that we were worried about uh, to one of our best positions on the field now. Hey, now, you ain't got to go wider. But you can get even with the quarterback. You ain't got to get all the way up here. Just get even with it. Slow to fast. Let's go. Just like Coach uh, said in the meeting today, man, it don't just start on Saturday when you wake up. It starts now. Control your mind, OK? Tell your mind you're going to do great things. And the way you're going to do th uh, great things is the way you work out here, OK? Here we go. Backs on three. One, two, three. Back. Uh, well, I've been recruited by Coach Nick since I was in the 10th grade. And you know me and him, build a, a great relationship, you know, because, you know, he kind of he kind of coached me up since I was young to become a good running back. You know, he he taught he taught Dexter McCluster, um, Brandon Bowden, Jeff Scott, you know, a lot of good running backs. So you know, that's the main reason why I came here is to, you know, since take coaching and, and winning. I grew up playing football all the time because when I was uh, six and started playing, I kind of was afraid of the heat. And I remember my first practice, I was crying and I didn't want to go back. And, the next day I had to play in the game and I ended up scoring my first touchdown on my first carry again. And ever since then I just you know, I just fell in love with it. I stayed out late to probably the street lights came on. Even when the street lights was on, I was still playing football with the kids in the neighborhood. Um, you know, Memphis is a kinda rough place, you know, so I kinda, you know, stayed focused with my school and, and the things that I wanted to accomplish, so it kinda didn't make me lose focus on what I wanted to do. Ole Miss is a, is a great place. Um, the, the fan base, the coaches, the, the professors. Um, to me, honestly, it's like it's like home because I'm from Memphis, which is right down the street, you know. Um, I've never been in an environment where people care so much about a school, and I'm just glad to be a part of it. I'm your lucky team, Flag. We've gone through 14 seasons together. But in flag years, 
I'm like 130. Now, I'm just holding on by a red. If you've got cut rate insurance, you could be dealing with this mess yourself. So get all state, where agents keep you protected from mayhem like me. Mayhem is everywhere. So get an Allstate agent. Are you in good hands? Hi, I'm Katie. Yep, that Katie. Last year, I was in a hurry and didn't put my litter where it belonged. And everybody went. I got the chance to think about where my litter might end up and how it might make our beautiful state look. So I took the time and put my litter where it belonged. Then everybody went. Yay! The truth is, you're only going to get one chance to put your litter where it belongs. If you don't, you're going to get... You're going to get food, so don't get food. Pick it up, Mississippi. Hello, Rebel fans. Ole Miss has teamed up with Mississippi State and Memphis this season to help Kroger fight hunger. Join us as we fight hunger together in the Million Meals Challenge. You can make a difference by picking up items at your local Kroger store for donation, making a monetary donation online at themillionmealschallenge.com, or text HUNGER to 66856. Donate to win the cup. Donate to feed the hungry. Donate for a chance to win Ole Miss gear and prizes. For more information, visit themillionmealschallenge.com and help make a difference. I am a rebel. I am a wellness rebel. I am a research rebel. A business rebel. I'm a creative rebel. A visionary. A leader. I am an innovator. I am a rebel. I am I'm a, a rebel. rebel. I, I am a rebel. rebel. I am an oldness rebel. Making a difference in the world. On Saturdays in the fall, the best game day in America is in Oxford, Mississippi. It starts in the Grove as fans of all ages prepare for the arrival of the Ole Miss Rebel football team and the Walk of Champions. Although Hugh Freeze has made the walk before, this day he makes it as head coach. Hey, this is Matt Luke. Oh, Let's go. Jamal's right. Game time. My key to the game is every time I hear the cadence, I'm hitting somebody in the mouth. We're waiting a long time for this, though. Just got to play hard and do what we got to do. It's a new era. Absolutely. We got a chance to do anything we want to do, man. All right, we got to get going. Listen here. Um, this pregame is going to be real short because we've done all our talking all week. And here's my message real simple to you. is this. What do you need to leave in the water jar? The water jar in our story this week represented everything that was the past. It represented all the failures that she had. It represented all the junk that she had heard. It represented everything about her life that was negative. And you have had to endure more than your share because people forget the glory of this great program. And you get to be the great ones that restore it. How do you restore it tonight? You restore it by playing absolute passionate football for how many minutes? 60. There is no other option. I don't care if we're up 30, down 10, whatever it is, we will play for 60 minutes of the most passionate football that Rebel Nation has ever seen. It's time for us to give back. Defense, what is your it? 
Offense, what is your it? Be a fundamentally efficient scoring machine. Special teams. Provide the winning edge. Coaches. Capture the hearts and minds of our players. Tonight, we put that all together, and we start the Rebel Revival. As the Rebels made their way to the field, anticipation was at a fever pitch. It is said that football is a game of inches, but it is also a game of moments. And this moment was the culmination of nine months of preparing to get back to one thing, winning. The Rebels win the toss and decide to defer to the second half. The defense opened up strong and held the Central Arkansas Bears to a three and out. Dual threat quarterback Bo Wallace moved the Rebels down the field with not only his arm, finding receivers Dante Moncrief and Ferbia Allen, but with his legs as well. It's a snap, and he is going to fake it, keep it, run straight ahead, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Ole Miss, and Bo Wallace scores the first touchdown in the Hugh Freeze era. It's just a read, and the end went outside, so it was great blocking on it, just not even touched, and uh, into the end zone, really excited. And uh, actually, when I got in the end zone, I kind of just took it all in, what was happening, and, you know, got ready for the second series. You run in, and, you know, you kind of look up and, see, and you can hear the, the crowd and everything, but the first thing you want to go is, is get to your teammates. You know, they're coming to the end zone to celebrate with you. That's, that's the first thing you want to do. And then, you know, running off, you hear the band playing, and, you know, it's just an exciting feeling. Methodically, the Bears were moving down the field and found themselves with a first and goal from the six. There's a handoff, ball knocked loose, picked up, fumbled, and the Rebels recover as Hinton off the right-hand side got stripped and Chief Brown picked up the ball and the Rebels will get the stop. However, on the ensuing play, Wallace's pass is tipped at the line. Throws near side, deflected, loose ball, intercepted at the 25-yard line. The Bears punch it in to tie the game at seven. Wallace came back firing, finding receivers Furbia Allen as well as a pair to Dante Moncrief. Now throw over the middle, wide open, caught at the 15-yard line and knocked off his feet at the 10 as Corbett Neat. Then heralded freshman running back Jalen Walton heard his number. The give is to Walton as he sweeps left, gets the sidelines to the five, punches it in! Touchdown, broke some tackles along the sideline and the freshman Jalen Walton out of Memphis scores and the Rebels have regained the lead. Now, like Coach Freeze said, we in the red zone, we thinking the score, so I was like, you know, since I'm out here, if I got a block or if I got to catch a ball or, or run the ball, you know, I got I to gotta score or I got to help make the team score. I don't think I can see was just touchdown in the fans, you know. You know, you know I just want to win. That's, that's what I'm here for is to win, you know, to help my team win. And, you know, it wasn't about me when I scored, you know, it was about the team because, you know, we need the points and the points going to make us win. Well, you know, once I scored the touchdown, I made sure that I would thank my line because it was them who got me into the end zone. So, you know, I made sure I thank each and every one of them for doing it. First touchdown, congrats, bro. I like it, boy. I like it, boy. First college touchdown, baby. Congratulations to you. The Bears would answer twice more during the half and the Rebels would find themselves trailing 20 to 14 at the break. Let's show our heart, baby. Let's show we love each other. Let's go out there and finish these boys. Make sure they go home fast, baby. Let's go. Who gonna rise up? Let's go. This is not us. Let's go. Hey, this is hey, this why you play the game. All the, all the nerves are gone. All oh, that's gone. Now let's determine who we're going to be. And you've never won a game in two quarters, right. ever. Right. Nor have you lost one in two quarters. Right. 
It is a four-quarter football game. We get the football right here. Somebody make a play. Somebody else make a play. And it starts, the enthusiasm starts building. Sideline, we need you to get into it. Defense, you're going to shut them out the second oh, half. Yeah, yeah, shut them out. We got them now. We got them figured out. We got them out. Let's go. Old line, let's start dominating the game. Take it over. The big men start taking the game over for us up there. Running backs oh, run like you're possessed. Receivers catch balls. Quarterbacks take care of it. Let's go. Hey, Defense, right get here, us some man. turnovers this half. Yeah. Win the turnover battle this half. Yeah. No matter what, listen to me. Do not blink. Do not blink. Keep playing passionately for 60 minutes. 60 minutes. Rebels on three. One, two, three. Let's go. Let's go. And the Rebels did just that. Randall Mackey scampered for 10. Then Wallace found Vincent Sanders for 13. Freshman Itavius Mathers churned up another 14. And the Rebels found themselves knocking on the door. Here's the snap. And he's going to fake, keep it left side, goes in the end zone, loses the football as he dives over the top. It's recovered in the end zone by Jamez Logan. They will call it a touchdown. Bo Wallace running with the ball, I'm on my block. All of a sudden, I see him. Dive. He seen two defenders. He was trying. He was gonna try to split them. The ball just slipped out, so I dove on it. We went to the sideline. I told him thank you for the easy touchdown. This four, you got the number two receivers, two by two, man to man. You can bluff up in there, play trail, okay? All right. And then all the other stuff, obviously, just get your eyes right, play football all the time. Let's go, let's go. We give these guys nothing, 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 nothing. The Rebel defense tightened up in the second half. On the next Rebel possession, Wallace and Moncrief stole the show. Oh, Wallace runs left, throws downfield, caught by Moncrief at the 25, the 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Ole Miss! Bo told me before the play started, if the safety come down, he go throw it. And once the safety came down, I saw it and I was like, wow, he actually coming to me. And he threw it and I made a big play for offense. As the fourth quarter began, Barry Brunetti would take the reins to lead the Rebels. His target of choice, Jamal Mosley. Here's the snap. He's going to throw toward the end zone. Wide open, caught, touchdown, Mosley. Just went straight down the field, lobbed it to him, and Mosley with the six. Keep burning your eyes, guys. And they got a pass, hey, they though. Get out. Get out. Keep burning your eyes. Trust what you see. Trust what you see. We're going to get there. The Rebel defense wasn't finished. Looks downfield, throws, and batted up the air, and picked off by Ole Miss. The Rebels have the ball, it's Frank Crawford. He's going to reverse and go to the far sideline, trying to get around the lineman. He does, he gets to the 25 and dives out of bounds. Two plays later, Wallace would find Philander Moore for a 25-yard strike. With time winding down, Brunetti takes it in himself to give the Rebels a 22-point lead. Final score, Central Arkansas, 27, Ole Miss, 49. Hi, I'm Katie. Yep, that Katie. Last year, I was in a hurry and didn't put my litter where it belonged. And everybody went. Mm. I got the chance to think about where my litter might end up and how it might make our beautiful state look. So I took the time and put my litter where it belonged. Then everybody went. Yay! The truth is, you're only going to get one chance to put your litter where it belongs. If you don't, you're going to get food. You're going to get food. So don't get food. Pick it up, Mississippi. I'm a streaker. I'm 300 pounds, painted blue, and apart from the cleats, I'm completely naked.
And if you've got cut rate insurance, they might not pay for this. So get all state. Mm. You can save cash and be better protected from mayhem, like me. Mayhem is everywhere. So get an all state agent. Are you in good hands? Bob? Oh, hey, Alex. Just picking up some brochures, posters, copies of my acceptance speech. Great. It's always good to have a backup plan in case I get hit by a meteor. Wow, your hair looks great. Didn't realize they did Photoshop here. Hey, good call on those mugs. Can't let them see what you're drinking. You know, I'm glad we're both running a nice, clean race. No need to get nasty. Here's your honk if you had an affair with Taylor Yard sign. Looks good. FedEx office. I am a rebel. I am a wellness rebel. I am a research rebel. A business rebel. I'm a creative rebel. A visionary. A leader. I am an innovator. I am a rebel. I am a rebel. I am a rebel. I am an wellness rebel. Making a difference in the world.